Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. In 1915, I guess it was General von Falkenhayn, who spotted a weird thing on the map of France. Probably didn't take long to see. I'll call it the Verdun Salient. I don't remember what they called it, but it turned into the Battle of Verdun. Pretty sure the Germans knew that the French had evacuated the forts there and they were just holding this uh, this bulge for sentimental reasons. Uh, when I say evacuated, what I mean is I think they took most of the guns out because they had seen how ineffective forts had been at Liège and Namur in Belgium. Sorry, I'm butchering the names there. But anyway, Falkenhayn figured if it's so if it's worth defending so much that they're holding onto it in a salient, a difficult position, that means it's worth attacking whether it has any physical significance or not, because it must have moral significance. So anyway, Falkenhayn attacked, uh, it was a bloodbath, and anyway, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is if a thing is worth defending, it is considered worth attacking. If it's worth attacking, then it's worth defending. And so it is with uh, people like Edward Snowden, Julian Assange. They are symbolic uh, targets that are worth attacking and worth defending because they're worth attacking, and vice versa. Mr. Mielke, have you ever advocated, privately or otherwise, the death of Julian Assange? So it's interesting to watch these symbolic uh, figures uh, historically over the last 10 or 20 years and ask ourselves how effective have the authorities been at taking out these key symbols of liberty. The Bundys, Bradley Manning, Jerry DeLamis, uh, not libertarians, all of them, but all on the correct side from a liberty perspective uh, in their conflicts with authority. Sorry for using the word correct. <laughs> I should say ethical or uh, liberty-leaning. Anyway, so how has this played out? So if we go back to 1990, where, where would this start? Who, who, who can we name? Man, I really hate to uh, list Randy Weaver or David Koresh and his folks as being even relatively libertarian, but they were probably all more libertarian than the federal government. Uh, and those two are the ones you come to mind when you think of the federal government coming after people in the 90s. And of course, what did they do? Uh, bang, bang, shoot, shoot, and maybe some fire. I don't know if the feds burned down that compound, but a lot of people sure think they do. So that gives us a little bit of a benchmark for how that sort of thing went in, in the 90s. And there was the uh, there was there were similar cases in the, in the 80s, but uh, fast forward to the aughts. How did they do in handling these things? Well, they became more humane, or at least put on a more humane face. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.